Central Park is a rare, rare, imaginative creation that worked. It's 900 acres of incredible beauty. And even as a New Yorker for so long, I still haven't yet just scratched the surface of the park. Central Park is the backyard for all New Yorkers. It's such a contrast uh, to New York City, and I love that it's in the center of the city. It's just such a great complement to the urban jungle that we have. I love being in Central Park and looking up and feeling like I am so far out of the city, and yet I can see the skyscrapers all around me. I can't think of a better setting in New York than being at the Boathouse for a brunch uh, overlooking the lake. It's been described as a uh, Monet painting, an idyllic setting, an oasis of calm in the city of New York. One of my favorite meal periods actually is lunch, and Nougatine really caters itself to that. You know, we have a great prefix menu which we offer, which allows you to taste a variety of John George dishes in a really comfortable format. We see a lot of guests that come to visit the Central Park and then will come over and have lunch with us either on the terrace, overlooking the park, or even here right in the dining room by the windows. We're in our salon, which is right off to the main dining room. It's an area where guests can come in without a reservation and just enjoy a, a, a one-plate meal or more. And, uh, it's really an a la carte menu where you don't have to commit to a full tasting menu. We feature a highly designed restaurant atop the museum with beautiful wines, sexy cocktails, delicious cuisine, oh, and a view, a fantastic view looking over Columbus Circle, up Broadway, and over Central Park. The Central Park Zoo is a really unique place. It was something that appeared early in the life of Central Park. The zoo is this green oasis in the middle of a busy city. You can really lose yourself in the tropics in the tropic building or feel the chill when you're in the penguin exhibit watching the Antarctic penguins. This is a city that's constantly growing and changing. Each of the exhibitions explores the themes that we think define this city. Money, diversity, density, creativity. And creativity is really what defines New York City. Every time we do come here, there is always something new for us. Central Park is a mecca for bird watchers because we're on the migratory flyways. There are beautiful birds here in Central Park. You won't see any of these birds even one block away from the park, which is kind of amazing. It's my way of trying to connect with nature in the middle of the big city. It makes me feel much happier. There's two United Nations, one is the Plaza and one is the United Nations on 44th Street. Everybody's here, Every, all walks of life come here. People come and visit from Kansas, people from Japan. It's just a beautiful place to sit and have a fantastic cocktail. There's a sense of space and a sense of grandeur. And I think that for me is why it just attracts people. The view is sort of, you know, your quintessential New York Central Park view. You're really just right above the tree level. Our cocktail offering is very focused on fresh ingredients, whatever's in season. We love to use fresh mint. All of our juices are fresh pressed. How are you doing tonight? Everybody all right? We have a broad range of jazz music that plays here at Dizzy's. Straight ahead jazz, swinging jazz music, modern jazz. There's big band music, there's Latin music, there's music from the Caribbean, and late night sessions we have some dancing too. When jazz artists perform, the backdrop is Central Park, which is great. If they're performing a ballad, and an up-tempo song, the view definitely lends to the atmosphere. I mean, it's an amazing park. I mean, it's arguably the best in the world, I would say. I'd say the best in the world, but you know, I'm a New Yorker.